This week in art, we're going to be learning about abstract expressionism. What is abstract expressionism? Abstract means the art does not show objects, places, people, or things in a way that you can recognize them. This style of art uses color, line, and movement to express the feelings and emotion the artist was experiencing while they were creating the art. Abstract expressionists use many techniques to help them create their art. Some examples are spilling paint, spraying paint, and dripping paint. The next, few the next few slides will show some examples of abstract expressionists. Here are some paintings of, from Jackson Pollock. He is maybe one of the most famous abstract expressionists of all times and was super um, well known for creating the drip method of painting. Here are some paintings by Mark Rothko, who is well known for his blurry lines um, and sort of blocks of color. And lastly, some pieces of work by Helen Frankenthaler, um, who used a lot of watercolor in her abstract expressionism. Go into the Google Slides, there's a live link to a TED Ed talk, which will teach you a little bit more about abstract expressionism. All right, so now that we've learned a little bit about what abstract expressionism is, I have two tasks for you. The first one is to imagine that you could choose an abstract expressionist painting to hang in your house. So I want you to choose a painting, um, choose one that you like, that you want to look at, that you think is interesting, and copy and paste an, uh, the image of that painting into a document. So you might choose a painting that's in this presentation, or you could find a different painting that you like from the internet, but it has to be an abstract expressionist painting. So I'd like you to copy and paste that painting into a document and write a few sentences just to explain why you chose that piece, why you think it's interesting, why you'd want to look at it. And then for your second task, you're going to create a digital abstract expressionist piece of art. And the way we're going to be doing that is um, through a site called Bomomo. So again, in the Google Slides document, there's um, a link to that site. So you can click on that link, go there, and I'd like you to just play around with the tools. You can make a few different pieces if you'd like. And then once you've found one that you really like, I want you to save it. Um, you can take a screenshot of it. Um, again, share it with the class in a document and write a few sentences about why you like that piece, um, what expression you think you're trying it conveys to the viewer, um, and that's it for this week. So I made some examples of each of the tasks. Here's the first one, choosing a painting for your house. So I chose this, chose this drawing by Jen Stark because I like the bright vivid colors and the intricate design. Um, and I simply found it by doing a Google image search of abstract expressionist paintings. Um, so I think this would be an interesting painting to look at in my house. I don't think I would ever get bored of looking at it because of all the details. And I think the artist, um, what they're trying to express here is joy and excitement. And here's an example of a piece of art I created on Bomomo. Um, I really like this piece because I think that the repeating circles show like a sense of calm because they remind me of pebbles being dropped into a puddle and sort of the ripples that are created when that happens.